Come on, Turkey. We know you can do better than this. So Last Summer, or Geçen Yaz for all the Turkish viewers, is the latest Turkish drama that has been released as a Netflix original. It came out here in Australia just yesterday, and it's this tale of this young 16-year-old boy named Deniz, and he, you know, has this childhood crush who is friends with his older sister, and he goes away for the summer with his family, and this girl is there, and it's about him, it's about him exploring his love for this person, or this infatuation that he has with this person. Now, this movie is boring. <laughs> to put it lightly, this movie is really fucking boring. Everything about it is really, really slow. It's really dragged out. Essentially no plot to this film. The gentleman who wrote and directed this film, it almost feels like it's a, it's almost a fantasy that he had as a young guy. Or it could possibly just be like a wet dream that he had once, you know? Oh, my my older sister's friend who I'm in love with. Ha ha, I'm gonna spend the whole summer basically fucking fawning over her and coming in my fucking pants. Very boring, the characters were all really bland, the writing was pretty poor as well. I mean, I can speak Turkish fluently, I can speak English fluently, they're both, I mean, English is my native language and Turkish is my background, but I speak it with my parents, I'm very fluent in reading and writing and speaking the language and even watching it in Turkish I could tell that the way that these people were talking to each other didn't feel natural it didn't feel real you know it's almost going for like a reverse Lolita but not taking any of the positives from that story or that film and putting it into work here. This movie was very poor. The best thing about it, I would say, is the cinematography was pretty good. So all the places that they went to, the way it was shot is very nice. Very, very nice. That being said, there's nothing too fancy. It is all very basic, you know, by the book sort of filmmaking. Turkey is renowned for its fantastic TV shows that get streamed to the world, you know, over 40, 50, 60 countries. You know, people love Turkish so operas, people love Turkish TV shows because they are so well written, they're directed amazingly, but these last couple of Netflix films that they've had come out of Turkey, including Paper Lives in this one, not really hitting the mark. I don't know if the people who work on those TV shows refuse to work on film or not, but they really need to get a hold of the writers from those shows and put them to work for film, because if this is what Turkey's going to dish out to the world, everyone's just going to stick to the TV shows. As for the writer and the director of this movie, I respect that you've made the film. I respect that you've written it. That's all well and good, but it was pretty much an hour and 40 minutes of the camera just lingering on this girl's ass or lingering on this girl's stomach or lingering on this girl's fucking chest. If you're that desperate to film women, be a porn director, bro. You'd be able to film women every day. You'll see them with their clothes off. This movie felt really uncomfortable when it shouldn't have felt so uncomfortable. Why are we exploring the mind of a horny 16 year old boy? That's not interesting at all. I've been there. I don't want to relive that. I'm sure every man out there has, has been there. No, we don't want to relive that. We've grown. We've matured. It's not an interesting, it's not an interesting story. I don't recommend this one guys at all. It is kind of long as well. It's nearly an hour and 50 minutes of just pure wank. I'm sorry to say to all my Turkish friends and all my Turkish people overseas who may possibly watch this review, this movie is not good. And that's why I'm going to give Last Summer a 4 out of 10. So guys, have you seen Last Summer? What do you think about it? Comment down below. Let me know. Have you seen any other Turkish things, you know, have you watched any of the Turkish soap operas, any of the Turkish TV shows? After the high that I've been writing from Major Grom, where I really, really enjoyed, had the best time with a Russian film that I've never seen before, to then come back to a Turkish film which should have showcased how good Turkish art can be, it just fell completely flat. So yeah guys, that's the review, hope you enjoyed it. As always, click through to another video and we'll keep having some fun and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.